My name is Rod Lee, uh, director here at the Nelson Jordan Center. And uh, I've been in that capacity, that role since 1997. We have three part-time employees. And uh, for a better part of 15 years, I was the only employee. So for me, I've been coming here my whole life. I've been coming here since I was six years old. Now I'm 55, older than dirt. <laughs> what this place means to me is, is, is a healthy outlet, dealing with the hustle and bustle of life and the struggles that come with it. This is just one of those places, like when you talk about hubs of the community, this is one of those. People that are actually embedded in the East Willing, you know, you, you can't have East Willing without the Nelson George Center. You know, Nelson George Center was founded during the time of segregation in 1950. And uh, the land was donated for the purpose of constructing a recreation facility for colored youth. From that point to even present, uh, there's a sense of ownership. And although times have changed, I don't want to say it's been forgotten, but it's hidden. You know, it sits back in the hill here. And we don't get a lot of exposure citywide. So if something's in disrepair in your house, you fix it or you try to fix it. And then over time, you get used to living with certain conditions. You're used to it. You make the best of what you have. So to complain or cry, uh, that's not an option. We, we keep moving and keep trying to improve. And as long as we're reaching people and we, we maintain this safe haven for kids, we're okay. It's a place where, you know, the, the youth of East Willing can come to instead of out there running around getting in trouble and stuff, they can come here and play basketball and work out. You don't have to pay to come in here, you know what I mean? The workout, lift weights or anything like that. We charge for people who wants to box, but if a young kid can't afford it, we don't charge them. We just ask them to clean up and we go from there. It's free. You know, everybody, no one has money to be paying 10 11 dollars to just go just shoot a basketball, you know what I'm saying? So for me, it's always been a part of my life. So I always wanted to give back with any kids that want to do anything as far as basketball-wise. I wanted to be here with them. And now I'm an employee here, and I mean, it's now it's come full circle. Without them guys uh, looking out for all the kids, they'd probably be <laughs> locked up or dead. So this place meant a lot to a lot of people include myself. If there's a, a group of people or a community that might feel like they are left out or overlooked or uh, feel slighted or just not a part of, they have to try to find a way to build themselves up from within. And I think the Nelson Jordan Center has been a place that provided folks a way to start building themselves up. This place has made me healthier, stronger, to deal with sobriety over five years uh, sober. You know, because I, I used to look at life a little differently, you know, a little bit, little bit more negative. And I've come a long way. They might have done something bad in their life, but when they came here, it, it was all about being the best that they could be, like no matter what was going on in their personal life. You don't have to have the uh, shiny glitz and glimmer, just have a place for people who can be safe and have fun and uh, learn something about life while you're here. It's like, this is, you know, again, that ownership, this is ours, and we love it. We love it.